Brandon Harrison here for UWBadgers.com with Wisconsin men's soccer head coach John Trask. The uh, Badgers just kicked off their first week of training this week. And, Coach, how has that been going for you and the Badgers? Uh, it's been great. You know, we're evaluating a lot of new talent on campus. A lot of the returning players are, you know, itching to find spots on this team as well. And, you know, we're very much in an evaluation process. It's why we've got three exhibition games this year getting ready for the regular season. And, you uh, you know, there's there's a lot of competitive uh, competitive one v one battles going on for playing time and positions, and it won't be sorted out through this weekend. It'll be an ongoing process, but the coaching staff spending a lot of time looking at film and 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 watching the guys uh, perform in, in different activities. It's obviously a lot of new faces here this this season in training camp. You had a signing class, big group left last season from the senior class. What are you looking for from this new group this season? You know, when I first got here, we ended up by midseason having eight freshmen start in that group that eventually made the NCAA tournament last year and, and was an outstanding group of seniors. It's, it's hard to replace those guys. There's no question about that. But some of the freshmen, the quality and the, the development academy that these guys came out of, these guys are ready for primetime soccer. And while we hope we don't have eight of them on the field, we know for sure that some of these guys are going to be crucial members of this team this year, and, and they're going to be counted on to produce for us, in, both on the offensive and defensive side of the ball. So as it plays out, we're, we're really excited about this group and, and feel that, as we've said before, you know this is a top five recruiting class. When you think from the goalkeeper and Adrian Remenuk all the way through to, say, the forwards in a, in a Mark Segbeers and Tom Barrow, a Mikey Catalano, a Grant Stoneman, and Alex Masbrook. I mean, we've got some tremendous players um, that have decided to become Badgers for their careers. And O'Neill, I could go down the list. I mean, they're all exceptional talents. Now it's uh, it's taking a look at them and see how they fit in, you know, within this existing group with the Drew Connors and the David Cabans and Adam Laucos and Brindles and these guys. You'll get a good first chance to take that look this, this Sunday when you guys host University of Illinois Chicago. What are you looking for in that first exhibition of the preseason from your guys? You know, I think the key, and, and we talk about it as a coaching staff, is Rome wasn't built in a day. Um, we've got to be patient. Um, these guys just arrived on campus, some of them four or five days ago. Uh, they've been working very hard. We've got to be realistic in our expectations. And the reason we scheduled UIC, they, they were a tremendous team last year. They're, they're a much more mature team than us. They present some challenges because they're technically so gifted. They're probably one of the most gifted technical teams in the country. Um, and it will force us both defensively and offensively to be sharp. And that's what we look for. Uh, that's why you play the exhibition games. It's why you play some of the non-conference games. And UIC is, is a perfect first test. It's great to be at home. We've got a youth clinic. Um, we've got well over 100 kids coming to that. So we'll do a clinic for, uh, for our fans and then uh, get after UIC and hopefully have a positive result. All right. Well, thank you, Coach. We're looking forward to that. Thanks, Appreciate Brandon. your time.